Mutual funds are similar to other investment funds, such as a index fund or an exchange traded fund, in that they pool together shareholders' money to invest in a variety of securities such as stocks and bonds. But the difference is, is that a mutual fund is more actively managed, meaning the fund managers frequently trade within the stock market with the goal of outperforming the markets, while index funds and ETFs on the other hand are more passively managed so the firm who manage them take more of a set it and forget it approach. Now there is a mutual fund for almost every type of investment. For example, equity mutual funds invest in stocks. Fixed income mutual funds invest in bonds. But you can also find mutual funds that are more balanced and that invest in both stocks and bonds. But mutual funds are not limited to stocks and bonds only. You can find a mutual fund in almost every sector. Now the key benefits to investing in a mutual fund is having professional management and as I said, their goal is to outperform the markets. And Another benefit is diversification. Diversification is important because by diversifying the fund's portfolio into several investments and into uncorrelated industries, it will help minimize risk. When you invest in a mutual fund, as a shareholder, you now have a stake in every company that the mutual fund has invested your money into, while you only needed to purchase one share in that mutual fund. And if one of the companies that the fund is invested in has a bad year, or if it even goes bankrupt, the impact that it will have on the fund's portfolio can be small depending on what percentage that company makes up in the mutual fund's portfolio. But you would expect the fund manager or managers to at least pull its investors money out of a company before it goes bankrupt because that's the whole point of having professional management and paying them higher fees compared to an index fund or a ETF. Now although professional management does sound like a good thing, they are subject to higher fees and they do run the risk of human error. But if investing in a mutual fund is something that you want to do to find the right fund you need to do your research and there are plenty of websites dedicated to mutual funds so when you do find the one that meets your investing goals the first thing you need to do is read the mutual funds prospectus which is a document detailing the investment objectives and strategies for the fund it will also provide details of the management fees minimum investment amount performance history, risks, and any other important information that you need to know. So if you do decide to purchase shares in a mutual fund, by owning shares, you now participate in the fund's gains and in their losses. But no matter how big or small the gains and losses are, the fund manager still collects his fees during the good times and the bad. So if it doesn't do well over time, the fund manager's fees will add to lower returns. Management fees aren't the only fees involved in mutual funds. They also have transaction fees which they charge to their shareholders every time they make a trade. So how do you make money from investing in a mutual fund with all those added fees? Well if the management does what he's supposed to do, his goal would be to outperform the market by allocating the fund's money to companies that will do well in the short and in the long term. And if that's the case and the investments may do well, it can lead to the mutual fund shares appreciating and going up in value. So you the shareholder have the option of selling your shares for a profit and some mutual funds also offer dividend payments to its shareholders which is another way that you can make money. Now this is just a basic overview of mutual funds and you need to do your research on whether or not they suit your investing strategy. They are just one of many tools that can help you on your path to financial independence. Mutual funds are more for wealthy investors that have a specific strategy but the truth is mutual funds very rarely outperform the markets in the long term. So if diversification is what you want, then it's better to stick to index funds or ETFs. Now there is always something new to learn when it comes to investing. If you want to learn more, this channel is for you. On this channel, I discuss all things investing, whether that's in the stock market, my views on cryptocurrencies, or how you can start a business of your own. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on all things investing, Subscribe to this channel.